So I was gonna do a story today, right? And I had this whole, I had this whole thing in my head, right? This whole idea, what I was gonna say. And then, and then I was, I was in Whole Foods a few minutes ago, right, getting some breakfast. And and I heard Dylan, I heard Bob Dylan on the radio, fucking singing, man. It's just like, I don't know. It's a, Look, I don't, I don't take drugs, and I don't, I don't uh, medicate myself with alcohol and cigarettes, and, right? And so, I get struck hard by, you know, the music. It's like a wave, and it's just I'm, I'm, when I hear lyrics, I, I get, I get paralyzed. I get lyrics that matter, right? So, now, <clears throat> Dylan said it all. He said it. I know the reason. That you talk behind my back. I used to be among the crowd you're in with. Ah, fucking hey, right? What the hell is Dylan talking about? So the latest dust up, let me talk about it. So, Jason Goodman. Hello, Jason. Hi, Jason. Hi, Jason. You feel like you're not getting enough attention? Is that what this is all about? Attention. Drinking my Italian water. Sparkling. So, um, uh, one more. I'm on uh, the campus of uh, George Washington University right now in DC. It reminds me of that scene. I gotta talk about a movie, right? Fucking movies. <laughs> Remember my cousin Vinny? My people, right? Joe Pesci and uh, Marissa Tomei. Right, when he says, I'm here to see the two youths. The what? The two youths. <laughs> you mean the youths. Right? The fucking... That was Herman Munster playing the judge, too. Remember that shit? It was funny. I don't walk this way. I try to get away from these people. So Jason. Uh, so, so Jason does a hit piece on me. Because <laughs> he's... he's, he's He's not getting enough attention. You're paying attention to George, and you're not paying attention to me. And I was there for you in the beginning. And why are you paying attention to George? And you talk to Calyptic Val, and you fucking boy, it's fucking guys. You guys are fucking big babies, man. What the hell is going on here? That, what the hell is going on here, man? It's supposed to be about the news. I'm gonna to get to the big picture in a second because it, this is this is good. Right? So Jason Goodman puts out a piece. You know, he's calling me a garbage man, out of work garbage man. Right? Right, so Jason, I know it's a lot of new people watching, but in in early, I even in George's interview, I even said that Jason was very generous with his time when I was uh, fighting City Hall in New York City as a sanitation enforcement agent that blew the whistle on corruption. And not only did I blow the whistle on that corruption, but I also um, blew the whistle on ju judicial corruption at the highest appeals court in New York City that evidence presented was not evidence evaluated. It fell on deaf ears, right? So Jason, Jason Goodman, now that I've actually transcended that idea and that um, purpose, now I'm a, quote, Jason's, an, a, a YouTube influencer, part of the alum, uh, Illumini. <laughs> so, here's the deal, right? So, look, everybody's motiva motivated by certain things, and... You know, it, a lot of times when people speak like that, you know, I don't, I don't mean to be condescending. I like Jason. I think you're a good guy, Jason. I'm your, I'm your friend. I, I'm your friend. I was, I'm a fan of your show, you idiot. Why are you bashing me for? Right? But why is he bashing me? Right? Because again, people are motivated by different things, right? They reveal their inner self in their actions, right? Ask your jerk-off friend, uh, Quinn Michaels, the, the fake Buddhist. Fake Buddhist, Quinn Michaels. Oh, fuck a Buddhist. I'm a monk. That guy's an idiot. 
Fuck him. <laughs> That's not a very Buddhist thing to say, fuck him. But, you know, there's a lot of things. I mean, I was, I, I've been to Thailand and, 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 and sat with the monks for, for a month. You know? I did it here too. Am I a Buddhist? No, but in the Buddhist process, you realize what I'm trying to tell you and your fake Buddhist friend, Quinn Michaels, is that you're revealing your inner self to the masses by, by, because you're driven by jealousy. You're driven by opportunism. And that's the title of this, this uh, I want to coin the phrase before someone steals it. <laughs> I'm an opportunist. I'm an opinionist. I'm not a journalist. And anybody who does this kind of work, for whatever it's worth, or for whatever for whatever influence we actually have, um, you know, I'll, I'll quote um, Kurt Cobain said. He said, uh, "Did I clarify why why I used my cousin Vinny? Because I'm on the, I'm on the campus. I just realized I didn't say it. that." Uh, that because he was he was I'm on the campus and I'm seeing all the youths all the young people that's why I came to mind the two youths but what I, what I was trying to say is, is that people are motivated by different different things right? Right? and then they evolve you know some people evolve if they're paying attention and they stay true to themselves right if you listen, if you, if you turn the camera in, the cosmic mirror, and look within, and stay true to it, there's nothing that can, you're, you're, you're immune to the, to the bullshit. The crowd that you, that you, you know, the crowd that you're in with, right? that doesn't, that doesn't have any effect, right? Seek the truth. Seek the truth, right? So Jason Goodman is, um, is, is driven by, by, you know, today driven by jealousy right he wants to be in the conversation you guys oh fucking you guys are talking about talk about me what about me you are there jason you you know right oh what i was saying was kirk cobain that's what i was saying i forgot what i was saying so kirk cobain said look you know to be called an influencer kirk kirk, kirk cobain said you know when the when when grunge and and his band took off he was just he said he was just happy to be part of something that he didn't he didn't see himself as leading anything he just he just he just you know was there and 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 uh, and and the wave rose him up right uh, I never signed up for this right I never I didn't sign up for this shit I, I'm just I'm doing it because because this, because I don't, I don't, you know, I don't medicate, right? So this is, you know, I'm after the truth, right? The unadulterated truth. And I see signs of that truth in you guys. And George, trying to amble, he's so paranoid, so fucking paranoid, George, that he can't even do an interview. He can't even sit still long enough to talk to somebody on camera. And he has to, he has to try to take control of the conversation and, and turn it into his own little stunt. It's, it's, the, it's the adult baby. And then when you sit close to someone, you, you see other vices. You learn, you learn about them. You study body language and you study odor about people and what their vices might be. So. So what the hell am I trying to say? How does it pertain to the big picture? Because when you call someone an Illuminati fucking conspiracy theorist and you barely know the person, all, you, all you're really motivated by is your own jealousy and opportunism to seize, to seize some kind of market share and step on people that actually have the fucking talent to do it. Okay? Okay? Real talent, real people. People that actually are driven by the, by 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 purpose, and not by by money. Right? You see that at play on the larger scale, and that's what I wanted to talk about. Rather than accusing people of being 
you know, false prophets and Illuminati uh, try to chop their legs out before they even get going. Raise them up because you see an opportunity and then when they get, they get up, you chop them down. That's opportunism. That's, that's a fake friend, right? You know a fucking friend. That's not what friends do. Right? I don't know friends, George. Well, you don't know me. You don't even know me. You're making that assumption that I'm, I'm, you know. It's a proof of life video. People thought George Webb was going to kill me in the interview. It's going to poison me. Fucking, that's where you are, George. People think you're, you know, ma master, I love, I love your work. But so, so you so here's George, here's Jason Goodman making, the video's down below. You can watch it. Is making is making the, the this outrageous allegation that that I am somehow entwined with Mr. Lift of Ale. Nathan, excuse me, Nathan from Lift of Ale in California. They're so worried about you, Nathan. What'd you do to these guys? They're fucking terrified of you, man. They're terrified of what you're gonna say, Nathan. Good for you. Nathan's a good guy. I like I like Nathan. I, he, he likes cats. I like cats. I don't think the earth is flat, but that's okay. <laughs> you think... <laughs> Someone tell me you think the earth is flat, Nathan? Is the fuck the earth is flat? I gotta think about it. But on the bigger picture, right, what we're seeing play out is the same dynamic on a big, on a small level is you could see how a Russian narrative, right, because you're, you're, you're fearful that you're going to lose your your, your, your place. Right? Is that what it is? You're fearful that you're going to lose your place, so blame Russia. Right? We cheated and then, you know, we played the same ace of spades as, as, as George Orwell said in Animal Farm. Right? The, the pigs and the pig and the man, they played the same ace of spades. They're both cheating to gain power, to gain influence. Right? Uh, they blame Russia. They blame an enemy, so that so that nobody looks at them. Right? Frame your enemy as as a as a villain, as a bad guy, so that you stay in the conversation. That's the Democratic Party. That's what they're doing right now. And to George, to say that I don't do politics, you might as well be Brennan, who says I don't do evidence, because it is politics. What you're talking about is politics. You may get caught up in the minutiae of the details and I may look at the big picture but it's all politics it's all politics and everyone has a it's a power vacuum this is that's what's happening right now is a power vacuum in the internet and you know Alex Jones no more right TYT totally sold, sold out right so this is a big power vacuum CNN, MSNBC, nobody believes them anymore because they, they rode that, they rode that ace of spades into the ground, that fucking fake, fake Russia, when we knew all along the, the real story, right, the real shit, right, that's the real shit. So don't call me a journalist, don't call me a investigative journalist, a reporter, a street reporter. I'm a fucking street reporter. What am I reporting on? I don't report on shit. Only if it falls in my lap. <laughs> like when that guy wrote the ticket on my door. You know, I, I happen to have my camera out. I caught him. I caught the woman. I right? write a ticket on, fake ticket on my door. Former sanitation enforcement agent lady writes a fucking ticket on my door and I catch her. Fake ticket. <laughs> right? But I'm, I'm an opinionist. That's all I am. I'm a, I'm a, uh, that's what I, that's what I, I call myself. Right? Right? I'm not. Influ I'm. I'm influenced. I, I'm influenced more by the, the good people in the thread that respond. Even the haters. It's, it's fine. I don't. I don't mind. I know. I know you. Venting is good. If you dislike me or you think I'm a greasy slime ball and you don't know who I am, I respect that. That's fine. You're, you're kicking the tires. You're testing the. You know. You're testing the. the you're opening the hood and seeing what's in there. Right? That's fine. You know. And to my. To my. The people that have been with me right through the DSNY thing, where it was Jason included, we were there. We fucking, I, and and saw, we saw a broken judicial, Judy Cobb, Sterling Price. I, I can't remember names right now. 
but you, you guys know who you are, right? I, I read your comments. We, we comment back and forth. We pass, pass music back and forth. I, you're my, you're my, you're my crowd. Fucking, you gotta figure this out, you know. Why am I in D.C.? You walk, you walk the streets of D.C. and it's, it's a museum. There's no justice. I walked that mall yesterday and I felt empty. I felt like every building you went into was a, was a, was a cafe and a museum and a coffee shop. Even fucking Congress. You go into Congress, you get, you're in, you're in the. You're in, the, you're in the coffee shop. You know, fucking kids screaming and crying. <laughs> I don't want to go in fucking... I don't want to see another statue. That's not justice. That's not justice. You put me in the senator, you'll get some fucking story. Man. You'll get something to talk about. I aspire to be senator. Why not? Is it, a, is, is it, is it pompous? Jason, can a garbage man become senator of the United States? We shall see. My name is Marcus Conti. I'm an opinionist and candidate for the United States Senate. Peace out.